the pressure tank to test the pressure of the radiator to see if it's leaking. So basically I took a 2 by 6s I guess about 4 feet long, scrap pieces of lumber, nailed them together and put them up on bricks so it sinks a little bit more. Lined it with uh, 6 mil plastic and filled it full of water. So if you don't have a compressor, there's an easier way to do a pressure test on your radiator. First thing you need is a bike tire tube. Take that and cut it. Uh, cut it right back. I gotta cut down the center, which takes time consuming time. Unless you wanna rip it. Now that we got the uh, piece cut out, just put it over here. It doesn't have to be any special type of tire one. You want to put your pipe clamp directly on it. You don't want to twist or anything. Let's tighten this up. So now we got that one on, and now we just need to do the radiator fill one right here. So that's going to be hard. <laughs> First I'm going to put some electrical tape on it. See if I can kind of get a seal with that. If I had the actual hose, I actually do have the actual hose. I can just plug it in there and clamp it off somehow. But, for the sake of YouTube. I kind of got that on there, but I'm also going to go with something else, too. Hopefully it won't leak there. I put a zip tie and a piece of rubber and also there's tape underneath, so that might be good enough. It's working. It's leaking everywhere, but it's leaking. You can see where it's leaking the most. So, we got right here, right where this is bent together, it's leaking. This whole band, so I'm going to mark that. And also, it's leaking into the transmission cooler. That's not good because you don't want radiator fluid in your transmission fluid. So I'll probably cap off the transmission cooler. See if I can drip solder on this. You see how it's bubbled through <laughs> here. Well, yeah. So I'm going to mark this, get some solder, and see if I can fix it. Give me another time for something. And that's how you do a redneck pressure test. Easy, didn't need a compressor. I couldn't even afford a compressor, so that's perfect. Just use a little shitty little $8 compressor. You get big lots for your tires. You basically see it. You can see where it leaks.